riser is that part in the gating system is that part in a gating system which provides the liquid metal during metal during liquid solidification and during phase change solidification there are three types of riser use number 1 the top riser number 2 side riser and number 3 is blind riser in this casting cavity we are only discussing the riser today so we i will not show the sprue and all the arrangement only riser working as the name indicate if you keep the riser on the top of this it is called as top riser if you keep the riser on the side of this it is called as side riser and if you keep the riser whether you can't see this is called as blind riser you can visualize this top riser you can visualize this side riser and you can't visualize this is called as blind riser so we are basically interested in the top riser and side riser so the from the sprue system the molten metal is fed through in gate so we have in gate here from this one the molten metal will fill uh, fill the cavity as well as the molten metal will also flow in the riser also so we have total molten metal in the riser as well as casting now once they filled it we stop pouring and then the solidification will start so if the total solidification time of riser is more than total solidification time of casting if this value is more as compared to this one then first of all this will solidify if it will solidify then during the shrinkage some cavity is produced and this cavity because of the total solidification time of riser is more as compared to this one this one is solid state and this one is liquid state so this liquid will back into the casting and then you can get the original size of casting so that is the function of what a riser the first condition that is essentially is that the riser is basically designed for liquid flow from riser to casting in that case the tst of riser tst of riser must be greater than or at only greater than is tst for casting so it must satisfy this condition the second condition is that we can check again now when both are filled we have a shrinkage here is it correct now this volume is called as shrinkage volume this volume is called as shrinkage volume so what are the shrinkage volume here is there at this point now the volume in the riser must be sufficient to overcome the shrinkage riser and only you can fill the cavity so second criteria is that the volume in the riser must be greater than 3 times the volume of shrinkage minimum extra is always welcome two condition must be satisfied for designing the riser that the total solidification time for riser must be greater than the total solidification of time and minimum requirement of riser volume is greater than the three times the shrinkage volume shrinkage volume is not casting volume shrinkage is hardly 6% or 10% that given given to us already we have done the problem based on this according to kornilov's rule the total solidification time is it equal to the mole constant cm or sometimes k is it v divided by a and this one is whole square v is representing the heat content and a represents what heat transfer area if the heat transfer area is large then a is tst small whereas we want the riser should have large value of tst as per is represented by q q is dependent on area multiplied by h multiplied by delta t if we reduce the area will the heat transfer rate will decrease and if the heat transfer rate will decrease automatically the solidification time will also increase heat transfer rate should be as small as possible for heat transfer should be small the tst will be large for larger tst lower value of q and lower value of a so the criteria for riser is minimum value the minimum value of heat transfer the minimum value of area which area surface area and in mathematics what is mean by minimum minimum means by a by s equals to what zero divided by certain parameter here whether it depends on depth or it depends on diameter or depends on height so that is a variable for me that i will decide later on object function is clear first of all we'll go for top riser so we are only interested on this part so let's say the d is the diameter of this riser and h is the height of riser right now we don't have any relation for diameter and height now the bottom surface of this riser in communication with the casting and the rest three surface are open to atmosphere so is the heat is transferred from the top surface as well as on peripheral surface so what is the surface area available for heat transfer 
in this case. The top surface area is what? Pi by 4 multiplied by d square plus the circumferential area will be equals to what? Pi d into x. Whereas if you come to the side riser and we have same diameter equals to d and height equals to h. So in this case the heat is transferred from the side as well as from top as well as from bottom because bottom is not in communication with the casting. So that is the difference between what? Side riser and the top riser. So as equals to what? Pi by 4 into d square. This one is top area and one is bottom area multiplied by 2 plus one is circumferential area that equal to what? Pi into d into h. Volume for this riser as well as the volume of both riser is same. The volume for this riser is pi by 4 into d square into h. Same is the volume for this riser also. Okay, check this. I want a derivative with respect to what? x. I want a function of one variable only. Now here I have a function of area of two variables. One is diameter and one is height. So as far as mathematics is concerned, we have two variables, then also we can find out. But that take will long time. So it is better to convert two variables into one variable. Now is the volume is constant for both situation. So do you have definite relation between D and H? So can we have a relation of D in terms of V? And V is not going to change. So we will treat the V as constant. So can we find out the relation between D and H? Once we know that relation, we will put back here. So is this AS will be the function of diameter alone and is my job will become simple then. To convert this into single variable and we will use the equation of V, this V equal to pi by 4 into d square H. So what is the value of H? H will be equals to 4 times V divided by what? Pi d square. This one is true for this case and is even true for this case. So we will put this value back into this equation and your surface area will be then equals to pi by 4 into d square plus pi d into h is replaced by 4v divided by pi d, pi d square. So first term is a surface is pi by 4 into d square. I think this pi and this pi is cancelled, one of the d cancel. So is it plus 4v divided by what? Now already we have defined the mathematical definition for this one. So we want to minimize this. To minimize this, we will differentiate surface area with respect to what? Diameter. Diameter is the only function because the volume is remain constant and we will have equal to 0. This will give the condition for minimum area, not minimum area. Minimum area you have to put back and solve again. So d a s by d d equal to 0. So what is the derivative of first term? Is it pi by 4 is constant? Derivative of d square is twice d, twice d plus plus 4v. What is the derivative of 1 by d? Is it minus 1 by d square? And this total value equals to what? 0. Solve this equation, cancel out number of terms and find out the value, uh, relation between d and v. And once we know the relation between v and d, put back v equals to what? This value, pi by 4 d square h. So your first step is like this, is a pi by 2 times d and this term will go to the right side, is it 4v by d square? So we are get d into d is what? d q. This one is pi. 2 is multiplied by 4 is 8 and v is equal to what? pi by 4 d square h. At that instant, at this instant, pi is cancelled. This 4 and this 8 is become 2. One of the d square is cancelled. So d or relation d equals to 2 h. Condition. So what is the condition for top riser? For top riser, for top riser, the condition becomes d equals to what? 2 h. Remember this equation. They will always ask you the condition. Put this condition back into AS, that will be minimum area. So AS minimum equals to pi by 4 d square plus pi dh. Instead of h, instead of h, you have to put d by 2. Pi by 4 d square plus pi by 2 d square. Pi by, pi by 4 and this is 3 by 4. 3 by 4 pi multiplied by d square. This one is minimum area. So in the same volume, we can find out v also. So v is equals to what? Pi by 4 d square into h, h is what? d by 2. So this equals to pi by 8, pi by 8 into d cube. So what is the modulus? Back to the modulus. So modulus for top riser condition for minimum or the above satisfy condition is, what is this value? v is equals to what? pi by 8 into d cube divided by, what is the surface area? is 3 by 4, d pi by 4 multiplied by d square is this value will come out to be d by 6 for top riser where modulus is d by 6. So this condition does not change but you have to remember this condition that is d equals to what 2h. Now let us come to the side riser. We have as here, we have volume here, h equal to this. So let us modify this as equation first. So we have as equals to pi by 4 
into d square. I think this equation is pi by 2 and this one is 4 and 2. So, is it pi by 2? So, this one is pi by 2 d square plus pi into d and instead of h we have instead of h we have 4v, 4v divided by pi d square. So, we got a surface equals to pi by 2 d square pi pi cancel one of the d cancel is it equals to 4 times v by pi d square only d ok differentiate this and apply the condition. So, d a by d s equals to what 0. So, we have a s equal to what pi by 2 d square plus 4 v by d differentiate and equate to 0. So, what is the derivative of first term 2, 2 will be here that will be equals to what pi d plus 4 v is it by minus d square correct. Now, solve this for v and then put for v is equal to pi by 4 d square h and check that we should get d equals to condition for side riser. The condition for side riser is d equal to what h and for top riser the condition is what d equals to 2 h. Put this value of d by h in the a s. So, what is the minimum area? Minimum area will be pi by 2 into d square and this one is pi d square plus pi. This one is d into h is same as d square. So, is this answer is 3 by 2 pi into d square. Now, using the same concept of volume pi by 4 is it d cube now instead of h we have to put d. So, what is the modulus for side riser is v divided by a substitute all things and check that this answer is d by 6. Final remarks are for top riser condition is d equals to 2 h whereas for side riser d is equals to h. For both cases your modulus equal to what d by 6. Now, the cylindrical risers are more popular as compared to other types of riser. Suppose we take a spherical riser. Now, as far as spherical riser is there is the inlet for spherical riser is very very restricted. Surface area is very large no issue, but is the entry point for this one is very very restricted. So, for filling of this one for shrinkage volume will it take more time. So, basic purpose is not solved. The basic purpose is that this molten metal should fill the shrinkage cavity as quick as possible. So, that is why the spherical riser is not not normally preferred. Secondly, is it very difficult to manufacture the spherical riser. Spherical cavity in sand is very difficult to manufacture. So, that is why they are not suitable and we can have a cubicle then what is for cubicle is same as a by 6. Modulus is a by 6. Methods of riser design. We are going to use four method. Number first is Keynes method. Number two is modulus method. Number three is Navel research method. It is a laboratory and they have developed their own method of riser design. And fourth one is the shrinkage volume method.